By now you know that we like to cover a ton of builds here, from endgame contenders to fun farming pretenders, we've got it all. But it's not just all about the mods, the exotics and subclass choices, you've got to look good whilst doing it too. There's a ton of fashionistas out there, like the incredibly talented Crips, showcasing armour sets and styles like you'd never seen before. But if you want to stand out from the crowd, you'll be needing to visit the Eververse store. This cash grab paid to win money pit is f***ing disgusting, cheating players out of their f***ing hard earned problems. The best thing is, the majority of items within Eververse can and will be available for purchase using Bright Dust, and what's even better than that is that you can get over 30,000 Bright Dust with very little effort each and every season, and if you're dedicated, the sky is the limit, with 40, 50, even 60k being possible. Festival of the Lost is here, and so if you want the tiny dinosaur arms and extra horns on your helmet, I'm going to show you how to maximise your time investment to get the most bright dust you can each and every season. There's a ton of avenues to get bright dust easily, and by far the easiest is via the season pass. Simply levelling up to rank 100 will net you 7000 bright dust on the free track, with a further 3000 coming from the premium track. Playing the game, completing bounties and doing your favourite activities will grant you XP, which all goes towards ranking up your season pass. This is arguably as easy as it gets, and makes purchasing a full armour set from the seasonal events like the Festival of the Lost or the Dawning really accessible for everyone, especially as these usually cost 6000 bright dust to acquire during the events. Following on from that, you can get bright dust by completing the various seasonal challenges set throughout any given season. These rewards range from 75 to 300 bright dust for simply participating in the seasonal activities or unlocking the ritual legendary weapon. Overall, these give out about 6000 bright dust each season, and the icing on the cake is that by completing 75 challenges, you'll be awarded a large pile of bright dust, quite literally, with a huge 4000 bonus for just completing it. The bright engrams found within the season pass, as well as those you get by levelling up occasionally, can randomly drop with either a small, medium or large pile of bright dust as well, if RNG is on your side. This is over 20,000 with minimal effort at this point, but now you can push it even further each and every week with a few more easy steps. Completing 8 bounties per week for Lord Shacks, Zavala and the Drifter will get you 120 bright dust per character. Overall, a bonus of 1000 per week if you have 3 characters doing this. With the usual 12 week seasons, that's an additional 12,000 bright dust, bringing us up to over 30,000 without even thinking about it to be honest. On top of that though, during the seasonal events, Eva Levante normally has 2 weekly bounties per character that grant bright dust as a reward too. With events usually lasting 3 weeks minimum, this is not to be missed out on and are easy to do especially as they're usually tied to whatever activity is going on. Lastly, repeatable bounties. Not everyone's cup of tea. At 3000 glimmer per bounty and only awarding Amiga 10 bright dust each, it may not be worth your time, but there's essentially a limitless source of bright dust for anybody willing to part with their own sanity. Arguably though, these are ideal if you're missing a couple hundred bright dust for that emote in the store on any given week and are usually easy to complete such as defeating X number of enemies. The easiest to do generally are the vanguard ones, so load up into any strike which allows you to beat the most enemies on multiple bounties, then simply rinse and repeat. Ultimately, it's all about what you're willing to put your time into. If you dedicate your playtime to bright dust farming, you could effectively buy everything from Eververse when it's available and in rotation for purchase with bright dust this week in Destiny. Speaking of this week in Destiny, if you want a preview of everything in store on any given week, Jav does an excellent in-depth breakdown of everything available in Eververse every single Monday, so go check his videos out for that too. Anyway, I didn't want to drone on, but more so refocus players' attentions if you want to grab a few extra cosmetic items throughout the season without spending actual real money. 
please like the video if you found it helpful, subscribe if you haven't already and also share it with your friends. I've been Truds, this has been your Bright Dust Rundown, thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you next time.